Since you are watching this video, I guess your computer is running with an issue here as you are trying to open a program we have recently installed. This is alright. The program can start because vcomp100.dll is missing from your computer. It's a very common issue and all you need to do is watch this video without skipping it and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I will be fixing this error within 3 minutes, so let's get started. At first, open your favorite browser and search for vcomp100.dll. You can choose any result you want. In this case, I'll be choosing the first one. This is not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. Here you can see a few download options based on the architecture and version. To know your computer architecture and version, click on Start and search for System Information. Here you can see mine is a 64 bit PC and I'm updated to the recent Windows update. So, in this case, I'll be downloading the first one. I strongly recommend you to read this page, it has other fixing methods also. As the download complete, hit open. The downloaded zip has the DLL file in it. In order to move the DLL, first open this PC, then new volume C, Windows, and find a folder name System32. This is the home of 32 bit DLL files. Then click on the downloaded zip, drag the DLL, and drop. I have already done this, so it is asking me to replace. And click on Continue to give administrator access. Before we go ahead, let's check. By typing the file name, we can see the file is placed in the folder right now. So, we have it done for 32 bit users. You can go and restart your computer. Only if you are a 64 bit user, open this PC one more time. Then, new volume C, Windows. And this time, find the folder name syswall64. Here it is. This is the home of 64 bit DLL files. And similarly, drag and drop. In short, 64 bit users need to place the file in both 32 bit folders and 64 bit folders. Check this one more time. By typing the entire file name, you can see the file is placed in 64-bit folder as well. And finally, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if there are tlockers, you need to download and install Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable and install your program again, and that will surely fix it. And that's all. If you follow me step by step, you'll no longer have that problems left. Please let me know how you feel about this video and do not forget to like and subscribe.